All right, so the correct and effective squat. Make sure you guys watch my video on the law of external rotation of a joint inflection. So if that makes no sense, make sure to go back to that video, watch that, because then this squat video will make much more sense. However, moving forward, what we wanna do is we wanna make sure our feet are about shoulder width apart, basically straight. We're able to have about 10 degrees of them turned out, but when we say this, often people do that, so I usually like to say straight. And from here, what we wanna do is we wanna lower ourselves down, and as we go down, remember that law of, of flexion and external rotation, and that will bring our knees out a little bit, and when our knees come out, we wanna make sure we're not dumping our torque. We wanna make sure we keep that tension in the lower back, and from here, really be able to get deep and hold that position if we notice that our ankle wants to collapse. That is why starting with shoes is okay because it's gonna have that higher heel raise, if you will, and it's gonna support our Achilles because what happens when our Achilles is tight and we squat, we go into this duck position and that's not what we want because it's not good for our ankle collapsing, our knee collapsing, and also the mechanics of our lower body. But we need to make sure that as we go down, we're able to get that external rotation, keep that neutral position in our arch, go to where we're able to, and then come back up. So in this position, you realize that my knees are coming out, not too much, my feet are staying on the ground, and I am choosing to go about 90 degrees. If your mobility allows it, or you have your shoes on, and it gives you a little bit more mobility in the back of the ankle, you can go lower. It's okay if you get a bit of that butt wink, but we wanna make sure you don't dump that torque. That is the correct position. If we go forward with the knees. Remember in that test I spoke about within the law of flexion, our knees come in often, we break at the ankle and we have no power there. So that is why we want the knees to come out. Not only is it a more stable position, but if we've got our left leg, our body and our right leg, our knees need to get out of the way to allow the body to drop. Again, if you need help, put something under your heels temporarily. You should not be doing this as a crutch or have your shoes on to give you a little bit more support in that ankle and take some of the range of motion issues out of the Achilles and then address it with either the thinking man stretch or the Achilles box stretch. Yeah.